In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a personal brand that'll help you stand out in the world of entrepreneurship. Today, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to build your own personal brand. Everybody wants one, but not everybody knows what it takes or where they should start. So let's get started. Hey, it's your girl, Michelle, with LBC Branding. I help you stand out so you can make your mark in the world. The way I do that is with my mark method, which is mindset, authenticity, revenue, and knowledge. I do that via classes and social learning just like this. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to make your mark. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to go ahead and get this thing happening. So today we'll be discussing the different topics and concepts in personal branding. More specifically, where do we start? Hey, you might already have a brand or you might be thinking about it or you might even, <laughs> you might be on the struggle bus, girl, okay? I'm just saying, it's okay. We're gonna learn together. So uh, yeah, let's get that bus out of here and let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, so now we're gonna talk about what personal branding really is. Here's the main thing. It is much more than a flashy logo or a color palette way more than that. This is what branding, personal branding truly is. It's who you are and what you do. It represents yourself online, offline, and everything that you are to your ideal audience. Basically what it is, it's a promise that you're keeping to your clients. So that's number one. This is what it is right here. It's all encompassing, it is everything, and has everything to do with who you are. Did you know that having a personal brand is power? Did you know that? Here is what having a personal brand can do for you. It allows you to stand out from the competition, so much so that you can even charge a premium price. It highlights your expertise. It helps you attract an ideal audience or who your ideal client is. It increases your visibility. It puts you in charge of the narrative. Basically, if you set out in front so that you know exactly who you are and what you stand for, yeah, you control the narrative there. It shapes the content that you share. Once again, you control the narrative there. It also helps you connect with more people, more individuals. It can also help you become an influencer and highlight your uniqueness and talents. So if you didn't already know, <laughs> now you know, you are your own brand. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So now let's go ahead and jump into the need for perspective. Now, let's take a moment to analyze how far you've come and where you're going. This is all about your why. It isn't a one and done kind of thing. This is something that you probably should do maybe once or even twice a year if you have an established uh, business or if you're new starting out, you may want to just sit down and reflect. So here we are at the taping of this, we're in July. It's sort of like the halfway point of the year. Is everything still the same as it was in January? I'm just saying. So this is sort of a litmus test to make sure that you're still on the right track. Sometimes you might need to make little tweaks as needed just to kind of course correct and keep you on the right track. But this is the big idea here. Remember your why. Why did you start in the first place? Whether you're in business or you're a professional, why did you start in the first place? And really, what really matters to you? Is it the same as it was at the beginning of the year? Or whenever you're watching this, is it the same? What do you want to achieve? Now, these are the big, big questions. There's so many more questions here that you can use. And those questions will help you clarify what it is that really matters to you and what direction you really want to go in. So now let's talk about your mission. Your mission is what gives you clarity. And if you don't have a clear mission, everything else is fuzzy. So we're gonna take a moment to kind of jump into what your mission is. So picture this, the Mission Impossible stuff is going on and there's a fuse going and go. Your mission, should you choose to accept, is this. Look, 
Your mission is the driving force of your business. This is your values on display. Everything that you stand for is what your mission involves. This also, if you have a business, this is why your employees come to work. This is your business's purpose. So you might be a professional. You might not have a business. This is your purpose. So these are things that you want to think about when you think about your mission. Your mission is the foundation of everything. If it's unstable, huh, you're not going to be very productive. Just saying. So next, we're going to talk about defining your brand. And we're not talking colors and the logo or anything like that. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I am crazy for leopard print. I put this in for kicks and giggles, but no, seriously, that is part of my brand. My brand is I'm the leopard lady. I am known everywhere in these streets as the leopard lady. So what do you want to be known for? I'll ask you that question again later, but there's so, so many questions here when it comes to defining that. There's so, so many questions when it comes to defining that. So first and foremost, who are you anyway, right? (laughs) <laughs> no, seriously, what unique skills do you have? What are your core values? What are you most passionate about? What would you like to accomplish both professionally and personally? What do you want to be known for? I know there's so many, so many questions, right? Who can you most effectively help and what benefits do your skill set, you know, what benefits would, would your skill set provide? Who's your target audience? So, so many questions. And so, yeah, yeah, that's what we need to focus on when it comes to that segment of your brand. Now, here's another thing that we can create or help you craft. You know, we can do this together. What is your unique value proposition? Or some people call it a USP or unique service proposition. Basically, There's a formula to that. It's super easy. There's a formula to that. And so basically what this value proposition is or unique value proposition is, basically it sums up your brand in one single, powerful, compelling statement that describes exactly what you do for your audience. It goes a little something like this. I help target person to achieve X, so that they can, whatever the outcome is, right? Super, super simple. So here is an example. I help working moms stay on top of everything and live a fulfilled life, right? Easy. Well, here is mine. My name is Michelle Lawrence with LBC Branding. I help you stand out so that you can make your mark in the world. The way I do that is with my MARK method, which stands for Mindset, Authenticity, Revenue, and Knowledge. I do that via classes and social learning just like this. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to make your mark. See how simple that was? I know mine was a mouthful and I committed it to memory, but you need to be able to do the same thing too. Back to this. Let's talk about defining your brand's culture. What are your values? Every brand has a culture, whether you know it or not. It is your values on display. So here are some questions. Is your brand funny? Is it more reserved? Is it inclusive? Is it isolating? Is it peaceful? Is it polarizing? Is it warm and friendly? Is it mediocre and tepid? These are some things, some questions regarding what your values are. And we'll dig a little bit deeper into that as we get to that section. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and put this all together. So time to recap. So your mission is a clear statement that keeps you on track. You'll develop that. Your brand is your uniqueness, what sets you apart. And your culture must be healthy. Really, it should. It should be healthy to cultivate brand loyalty. You wanna attract the people that you want to serve. All right, so here's the moral of the story. The more you focus on your personal brand, the more visible you become. 
the more you connect with others, the more you become an expert in your field, the more opportunities will come your way. And the more you can focus on building it, the greater results you'll have. So, so simple. I'm so excited that you were able to stop by today and we could dive right into all of this information. So this is what's coming up next is a need for perspective. So we're going to dive into what that looks like in the next video. If you love these videos and you want to support the channel, this is how you can do it. Oh my goodness, a girly got merch now. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So guys, if you want to help support the show so that I can continue to bring, uh, you know, bring these videos to you, go to the link that you see on screen right here where it says lbcbranding.link forward slash merch and you'll be able to get our merch man look see look we got the, we got our shirts we got all kinds of stuff we got this gorgeous fan that you see also here on screen so check us out now i want to leave you with one thought and this is going to be our question of the day what is the one thing you want to be known for go ahead if you're brave enough if you're brave enough leave it in the comments below Oh my goodness. I'm so excited you were able to join me today and I can't wait to chop it up with you again next time. See you in the next video.